Take one. Okay. My name is Jean Wakatsky Houston, and I'm the author of Farewell to Manzanar with my husband, James D. Houston. Farewell to Manzanar is actually uh, a memoir. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. By October 1942, the Army transferred inmates to 10 permanent war relocation authority camps. The 10 internment camps resembled prisons with poor food, cramped quarters, and communal facilities. The dust storms, the lousy food, the games we played, the fire breaks, the schools. Executive Order 9066 authorized the Army to designate military areas from which any persons may be excluded under the pretext that Japanese Americans were a potential threat to national security, despite the fact that two-thirds of those incarcerated were American citizens by birth. A terrible thing that happened. It was an incredible violation of America's and Amer American values and the Constitution that we walked the talk. And we have those values, and we honor those values. The process of relocating the Japanese took place over an eight-month period from March 24, 1942 to November 3, 1942. The sudden upheaval caused extreme hardship for many who were given as little as 48 hours' notice to sell their possessions and to dispose of their property. Losses incurred during this time were estimated in billions of dollars. Concentration camps was a term commonly used by U.S. officials to describe the camps at the time. Congressman John Rankin said on December 15, 1941, I'm for catching every Japanese in America, Alaska, and Hawaii now and putting them in concentration camps. However, the U.S. government quickly shrouded the incarceration in euphemistic terminology to make the incarceration more acceptable. But just understand that, you know, that these things can happen and this is how it does. You see the danger signs. Because it could be any group, for any reasons. 